These are the notes to section 3.8, slopes of parallel and perpendicular lines. The objectives are I will be able to use slope to identify parallel and perpendicular lines. This is a continuation of the three seven notes. That's why the numbers start at number seven and not at number one. We start off with a couple postulates. The first one says two non-vertical lines have the same slope if and only if the lines are parallel. For an example, line AB is parallel to line CD, and the slope of line AB is 3 over 5. So the slope of CD is what? Well, since we have that they're parallel, we know that they have to be the same, so it has to be 3 over 5. Parallel lines have the same slope. The other postulate says two non-vertical lines are perpendicular. If and only if the values of their slopes are opposite reciprocals. So when I say opposite, that means if it's positive, it becomes negative. If it's negative, it becomes positive. We change the sign. We use the opposite sign. So we're told that line AB is perpendicular. So remember, this means perpendicular. So if line AB is perpendicular to line CD. The slope of AB, line AB, is 3 fifths, and the slope of CD is blank. Well, first we write the reciprocal, 5 over 3. So that's the reciprocal. We flip 3 over 5 to 5 over 3, and we have the opposite sign. It was positive before, so it has to be negative. That's what an opposite reciprocal is. For numbers 7 and 8, we need to determine whether line FG and line FH are parallel, perpendicular, or neither. So remember, when they're parallel, the slopes are going to be the same. When they're perpendicular, they're going to be opposite reciprocals. And whenever they're neither, they're not going to be the same or opposite reciprocals. They're just going to be another number. So let's solve this. We have to find the slope of FG and the slope of F, or sorry, HJ. So remember, the slope was x1 minus x2 over y1 minus y2. So if I plug that in, x1 y1, x2, y2. So the slope of fg is just negative 3. I'm sorry, I have the wrong formula for slope. It's rise over run. y1 minus y2 over x1 minus x2. So what we're going to have is negative 3, y1 minus negative 1 over 1 minus negative 2. Again, the shortcut on the calculator is very good because we don't have to worry about reducing anything. So alpha y equals enter, negative 3 minus negative 1 over 1 minus negative 2. And I get negative 2 over 3. So that's the slope of FG. The slope of HJ, again, I label it X1, Y1, X2, Y2. I'm going to use this same slope formula, Y1, 0, minus Y2, 3, over X1, 5, minus X2, 3. So I can use the calculator again, or I can just see that it's going to be negative 2 over 3. Since the slopes are the same, the two lines have to be parallel. Because once again, when the slopes are the same, the lines are parallel. Try 8 on your own. Remember, whenever they're opposite reciprocals, the lines are perpendicular. 
whenever they're neither opposite reciprocals or the same, they're neither parallel nor perpendicular. So let's move on to number, number nine. Here we're asked to write an equation of a parallel and perpendicular line. So write the equation of parallel and perpendicular lines. So it says, what is the equation of the line parallel to y equals negative 3x minus 5? So what is an equation of the line parallel? So number 9 just asks us for parallel. Number 10 asks us for perpendicular. For number 9, I know the slope needs to be the same. So the slope needs to be whatever it is there, which is negative 3. And this point here is x1, y1. So whenever I use my point slope formula, you should remember this from section 3.7. y minus y1 is equal to m times x minus x1. So I substitute what I have. y minus 8 is equal to negative 3 x minus negative 1, which is going to be plus 1. When I distribute this, I get y minus 8 is equal to negative 3 x minus 3. So remember that negative 3 goes to both of them. And when I add 3, I get y is equal to negative 3 x plus 5. I want you to do 10 on your own. Again, saying what is the equation of the line perpendicular? And they give us this right here. So the slope is originally 1 over 5. So 1 over 5, the opposite reciprocal, we would flip it 5 over 1 and we put a negative sign out in front of it. So that's the same as negative 5. So that's going to be your slope for number 10, just to get you started. So again, do 10 on your own. So let's conclude with the last two examples. So sometimes you will be asked to either plot a point or find a point on a graph that's either parallel or perpendicular to a certain line that goes through this. So this is um, this is important. So it says graph a line. So the line that contains P, 3, 4. So 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 4. There's point P. And is parallel to line AB. A is 1, 2. B is 3, 5. So here is line AB. So remember, parallel lines have to have the same slope. So for this one, I went down 3 and to the left 2. So I go down 1, 2, 3, and to the left 2. So they have the same slope. So this is going to be the line right here that is parallel to it. So let me try to make that a little bit better. So that's number 11. So remember, you had to have the same slope. <clears throat> the slope was 3 over 2. So number 12 says, now we're going to have the point M, negative 1, positive 2. So this point right here is M. And it's perpendicular to CD. So C is negative 4, negative 3. And point D is negative 1, negative 3. So here is... Came a little bit high again. So there's line CD. 
And one thing that we didn't talk about explicitly, a perpendicular line to a horizontal line is going to be a vertical line. So that should make sense. So that line that we did right there is going to be the answer. So let me see if I can change colors of this. So there would be the answer to number 12 in blue. And the answer to number 11 is in red. And that's it. Again, just try 10, 8, and 10 on your own.